The new Apex Legends artifact is finally here and Apex Legends has a lot of new stuff coming up. From the new artifact to the new LTM, this event is shaping up to be an exciting one. But the big question that is always asked is, what does this mean for the future of Apex Legends? Well, if you guys didn't see, I tweeted out that I went somewhere super secret and it was all thanks to the Apex Legends team. They flew out a bunch of your guys' favorite creators to play test this new event. More information on that in the video later, but for now, you guys, let's jump in to see what is coming up with this next update. A new artifact is coming to Apex Legends called the Cobalt Qatar. And here's how you guys are gonna be able to get it. So as you guys know, this is gonna be another 36 item collection of Event. and similar to the buster sword collection event you guys have a 1 in 36 chance of getting the artifact without actually needing to get all 36 items but after collecting all 36 items you guys will be able to unlock the new death box and as you guys can see from the gameplay in the background i'm going through every single cosmetic item that is available and that is a lot to go over so if you guys want to see what your favorite character looks like in the new skin that they're getting uh just pause the video but overall the feedback that i want to give on this collection event as a whole is that I really think that they, they do a really good job at bringing unique skins. I know that people aren't fans of the recolors such as the Molten Mayhem event that we had, but you guys, for me, like honestly, you gotta give credit where credit is due because this still takes an actual human being and a team to bring these type of cosmetics to life for us. You don't have to buy anything to enjoy the game, okay? You guys, you really don't, but if you really main a legend that you really like and you see the cosmetic that you really like, I mean, sure, go for it. If, if it's within your means, you wanna go for it? Absolutely. And just to be transparent for all the haters out there, EA, Apex, they're not paying me to say this, you guys, but uh, I just gotta be upfront with you all because I, I feel you and I understand. I didn't buy anything from the Molten Mayhem event. Uh, will I buy this event? Probably. Why? Because I think it's sick and it's unique and it allows me to make content off it to where I think it makes sense. So that's why I do it. But enough about the actual collection event. I actually want to go over some of the rare inspects and animations that we have with the new artifact. All right, so let's go ahead and check out the artifact. Um, I was very lucky as I was going through this, you guys, because I was able to get all three inspects in a row. But this is inspect no number one. Now we're going through inspect number two. This time we have an Apex Predator card or like similar to kind of how Valkyrie's card is when she pulls out her heirloom. This one looks really nice. Yeah. And then the third and final one right here. Uh, it's kind of like the ones that we've seen already in the trailer. They pull out the little skull uh, thingy majiggy right here. And I really don't know how to describe what the hell this is. But yeah, pretty cool. And next up, we have the rare melee animation. Uh, uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And that's just about it for the collection event and the new artifact, the Cobalt Qatar. Let's go ahead and get into something that doesn't cost money, which is the new LTM Lockdown. You guys, I had a lot of fun playing this new LTM Lockdown, and I'm sure you guys will too. But before we get into the gameplay, let's talk about how Lockdown actually works. Lock them down, lock them out. Four squads will face off to battle and hold and capture zones. Zones will periodically spawn throughout the battlefield. First team to reach the score limit wins. And here's how the point system works. Being the first person on the zone gets you 15 points. Holding a zone gets you five points for every three seconds. A zone capture will be 25 points. The last stand zone captured will be 50 points. Killing an enemy gets you five points. Killing an enemy from inside your zone gets you 10 points. Killing an enemy team in the lead will be 15 points. And if you guys are wondering what the score is up to, it's first to 500 points. And lastly, you guys get rewards for capturing the zone. So be on the lookout for those because that's gonna help you guys ultimately turn the fights around in the game. You guys, and now it's time for the good stuff, the actual gameplay. The game starts out similar to Control where they give you guys an already set loadout. You pick your loadout, you pick your legend, and you drop right in. In total, there are gonna be four teams that will be competing to control the zone. And the objective is to not only control, but also to eliminate the enemy team because it's the first of 500 points wins the game. And you guys, I'm not gonna lie, this game is really fun and it's also pretty damn chaotic. There's four teams and we're all fighting for the same objective. Actually, what makes this even cooler is it's not just for one objective. Another objective will pop up across the map to control, or in this case, lock down, and the teams have to make a decision. Are we gonna continue to fight for this point to lock it down or are we gonna abandon this point and go to the other one to lock down? This is really nice because it does give a chance for the people who might be in last place to have a chance to catch up. Not only that, remember, you guys can catch up more than just trying to control the zone. You guys can actually go for kills to stay in competition with the rest of the teams. And if you are trying to go ultra sweaty, try hard mode, here are the best legends for this LTM. 
I might as well tell you guys this now before you find out the hard way when you get in there. Uh, have a Caustic on your team because Caustic is clutch, especially when a zone you are trying to control is indoors. Now, a lot of you guys can probably make the argument for Watson, but I I'm be honest, I, I still think Caustic just does a better job than Watson. Caustic's gas ultimate is just better. His gases can actually block doors, and even if shot out, uh, he could still replace them. And on top of that, if they shoot him out incorrectly, uh, the gas is still getting value for the team. So Caustic is my number one pick. The number two pick, it's got to be Mad Maggie. Uh, if there is a team holding it down pretty well in there, there's nobody else better than to evict them out of the little building that they're hiding out of than Mad Maggie. Her ultimate goes hard. Her drill is amazing. And getting up in close quarters with a lot of teams, especially with the value you get from using a shotgun, Mad Maggie, you cannot go wrong with her. And the third and final legend, honestly, it depends on how you are playing with your team. If you're three stacking sweat mode, you probably maybe want Conduit. Conduit being able to heal your teams in the middle of combat, very nice. I would even argue lifeline lifeline might be just as good. The only thing is you get no value out of resing That's pretty much it. Also depending on the map Pathfinder and Octane will also be good for rotations. Being able to get from one point to another is going to be very helpful to get the most value and to get the most points as possible Especially those first to capture zone points. Also another sneaky pick it's going to be Fuse. Fuse's Knuckle Cluster is going to be having people heal all the time, especially when there's multiple teams fighting on a point already. His Knuckle Clusters are going to make it really hard for neither team to want to fight. Fuse, to me, is a sleeper pick, but he's not a must pick. I'm really excited to see what kind of team comp combinations come from this because I will definitely be spending a lot of time playing with my community members. So if you guys are in my stream while I'm playing, uh, join up. I might be doing some customs based off of this LTM. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is the elephant in the room. What the heck is going on with the future of Apex? Now, I will say this. I've seen a lot of tweets on Twitter and people really being loud about their opinions and what they think about the game and all this and that. And all I got to say is, you guys, relax. I really mean it. Just relax. I see it in the comment sections all the time where, or even on Twitter, like I said, where people are just blaming the creators like oh you creators you're the problem i learned a lot about every single creator over the weekend like i mentioned before the apex legends team flew out a bunch of your top and favorite creators to meet and not only play test but for us to get to know each other well but i can tell you one thing's for sure when i talk to the creators on a personal level they are on your side they are for the community. And all I got to say is the next time you hear a leak or you see somebody trashing on Apex Legends, I really, really want you to go take a look at their channel and compare it to somebody who's not complaining about Apex and ask yourself, what is the real reason why this person is actually unhappy with the game? It's not to say that you can't feel unhappy or get pissed off about the, about the state of the game and where it's at at the moment. Like, yeah, we all know the cheater situation is out of control. Uh, the cosmetic prices too damn high. Those are all valid opinions to have and it's okay to feel that way. But to really think that like nothing is going to be done for Apex Legends and they're just going to let it sit there and die, you guys are out of control. A game that died, well, we've seen a lot of them in the in the history of, of gaming. Apex Legends, in my opinion, it's not going to be one of them. If you guys made it this far in the video, I do want to tell you I have something very special coming up. Like I said, I got to meet some of the best Apex Legends content creators in the game. And my next video I have coming up is I'm going to be ranking them on a tier list based on my first impression with them. I'm going to let you guys know if they were really cool or if they were absolute garbage people. So be on the lookout for that. And you guys, thank you. And one more message from It's Timmy as a thank you for making it this far in the video. Tell them if they don't subscribe. You're... Like, subscribe, Twitch Prime. Give him money. <laughs> Bye, Timmy. <laughs>